This video is a product buyer's guide intended for gift givers and adult collectors. Hey guys, welcome to Toy Chat. This is Max. And Sang. We'd like to thank Moose Toys for sending us these products for free. Today, we'll be reviewing a brand new line of posable fashion dolls from Moose, the creators of Shopkins and Fail Fix. If you've strolled down a toy aisle any time the past few years, you may already be familiar with Magic Mixies, a series of enchanting critter plushies that are magically revealed in bejeweled cauldron playsets. If you watched our coverage of the Toy Insiders Holiday of Play event in 2021, you know Sang was mystified by this product when it was first announced. And you mix water in and glitter and like a feather and somehow magically you let Sang it know. was mystified. I was, <laughs> I was like, go? <laughs> They were one of the hottest and fastest selling toys that holiday season, and since then there have been other additions to the series, like Mixlings minifigures. This summer, however, the brand is offering something new for doll collectors. We'll be taking a look at two Magic Mixies Pixlings dolls, which offer a similar magic reveal feature as other Mixies toys, but this time in a new magical potion. We'll cover everything you need to know about them in this review, including when and where to buy them, what you need to know about the reveal process, and of course, our overall opinions by the end, so keep on watching. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you never miss a moment of the Adult Collector Perspective here on Toy Chat. With that, let's get started. Magic Mixie Pixlings are priced at $17.99 each, and you'll be able to find them at all major retailers starting August 1st. Each Pixlings is packaged inside a tall potion bottle with a metallic gold cap and gem decorations. Although the dolls themselves are blind reveals, you'll be able to determine which character is inside by the color of the large diamond at the top of the bottle cap. The two we have here are light blue and pink. We can see the Magic Mixie logo and artwork across the front, and on the back are instructions for the Magic Reveal process. To start unboxing, peel off the plastic wrapping and you'll find a plastic container over the back. Inside, you'll find your Magic Elixirs. Make sure to read the instructions and insert carefully before getting started. If you want to avoid any messes, have paper towels handy, and if you like, place the bottle on a plate for easy cleanup. When you're ready to begin your doll reveal, remove the plastic insert at the bottle cap. Cut open the Mixling Powder Elixir Mark II on the baggie and carefully pour it inside. Check out the vibrant blue. From there, you'll need to fill the potion bottle with water. Moose Toys recommends tap instead of bottle water, distill water for the best results. Stop pouring once you hit the bottle's fill line. Cut open the baggie mark step 4 and sprinkle the precious petals. Afterwards, take step 5's Pixling Magic Elixir baggie and pour that into your potion. Finally, add a dashing antler from baggie 6 and you're ready to reveal your doll. Remove the golden ring to reveal the magic words. Turn the crystal at the top until it stops. Then, say the magic words, Magicus Mixus, and push down firmly twice on the gem. Release and wait 1 minute until the magic turns your potion clear. Now you're ready to remove your doll, which will be completely dry and ready to play with thanks to her protective tube. A collector's guide is at the bottom of the tube. According to the collector's guide, it looks like we got Dearly the Deer Pixling from the Pink Diamond Bottle and Marina the Mermaid Pixling from the Blue Bottle. Let's take a closer look at Dearly first. She's definitely very cute and pixie-like. Her pastel skin has a slight sheen to it, and she has a translucent pink blossom gem on her forehead. White dots are painted on either side. She has flower-shaped eyeshadow over her pink and yellow eyes, and what looks like a cherry blossom decorates her left cheek. Her lips are painted rosy red. She has small, deep purple antlers with flower sculpt details. Pixlings have nylon hair, so it's extremely soft and brushable. Dear Lee's is mostly bubblegum pink, with a hot pink section tied up to create a small bump on top. Two more sections of the hot pink are gelled firmly over her ears, which are very cute themselves. Her ears are large and elven looking. Dear Lee wears a sculpted sleeveless top in a dark to light purple gradient with a pink flower graphic and additional brown painted faux fur sculpting across the right collar. She has sculpted and painted fingerless gloves with a flower detail on top. Her cute fabric skirt has a pink blossom print over a pink and purple gradient. There's a small patch of brown faux fur decorating the bottom front. 
Dearly's shoes are really cute. They're pearlescent pink sandal boots with fur sculpting at the top and sides. There's also painted dark purple flowers wrapping around the front of each one. If you check out the soles, you'll see they have a cute flower sculpting as well. From potion bottle number two, we have Marina the Mermaid Pixling. She has light blue skin and an ocean blue gem on her forehead. She wears a bit of eyeshadow over her dreamy pink eyes, and there are scaly details and blush painted across her face. Her lips are rosy pink. Marina has beautiful teal hair with streaks of rosy pink and lighter blue. It's very soft and styled into a large single curl. Check out her little fin ears. They're so cute. Marina has a sculpted teal bra top with scaly details, decorated with swirly pink hearts at the center. It also has sculpted pink ruffle details. Her vibrant teal mermaid skirt is really cute. There's an iridescent sheen with a swirly heart design that makes us think of pearls. There are scales across the skirt and has a sparkly magenta tulle trim. Marina has another pair of fins on her legs and she wears metallic blue sandals with iridescent pink bubble straps. There are little hearts on each side. Pixlings have seven points of articulation. You can move their head, including head tilt, which we really appreciate, as well as both shoulders, elbows, and thighs. Each Pixling doll also comes with a pastel yellow stand, which you'll collect from the potion bottle during your reveal process. The doll's shoes have small holes, which you can use to fasten them to the stand pegs. All right, from here, let's jump into final thoughts. I've been aware of Magic Mixies for some time now, but until Pixlings, I hadn't had firsthand experience with the brand. I have to say that at a $17.99 price point, these dolls are a great value for both a cute doll and a fun activity. I definitely think they'll be a big hit with kids, particularly any little ones who enjoy interactive reveal processes, which can sometimes come at much higher price points. In terms of the adult collector take, I would have appreciated maybe a smidge more articulation on these at the wrists or knees. And while I think they have beautifully stylized faces, you may notice there is a little pixelation, which could be an issue for some. That being said, I think they're perfectly functional for the expectations of an affordable activity-based mini doll. Very much appreciate the use of super soft nylon hair. As Sang and I have vocalized before, hair materials like this should be the industry standard. Obviously, hair play is a big part of the doll experience. Stylized mini dolls can often have silly, cartoony faces, so I think something that makes Pixlings stand out is how their facial screenings and expressions lean a bit softer and more elegant, which I think makes their design feel artsier and a bit anime-esque, which I really like. I definitely agree with Max on these. These are beautiful dolls for kids, and I think adult collectors can appreciate their designs are well thought out. I always find that if you can make the unboxing process into a fun activity, it'll endear you to the product and add another layer of value. While I find the pixelated screens a little disappointing, I think they are colorful and detailed enough that young children won't mind. In particular, I am impressed with the style of Marina's makeup, with the scales and colors that I think this is exactly how I want a certain mermaid character to look like. It's refreshing to open these dolls up and feel how soft and silky their hair are. The hair remained perfectly styled out of the box that I didn't have to do anything with it. I think both kids and adult collectors can appreciate that. I do have to mention that the stands that they come with aren't the best. Since the hair is so lush and full, they tend to be top heavy. The stands could not stand upright sometimes. Overall, I really enjoyed my experience unboxing these with the non-messy water play and the dolls themselves. Thanks again to Moose Toys for sending us these products for free. And thank you for watching this video. Make sure to let us know your thoughts on Magic Mixie's Pixlings in the comments below. Related playlists will be linked on screen here. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't. Let us know what you want to see reviewed next and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.